Hello and welcome to my new travel report. Today I am in Florence, Italy and I will travel to Rome by train. I will travel with Train Italia on the high speed train. You were only allowed to go to the platforms with the valid tickets close to the departure time of your train. So while I make my way to the platform, let's give you some information about this station. The station is called Firenze Santa Maria Novella and is called this by cause of the nearby church of Santa Maria Novella. The station has some Gothic and Renaissance architecture and dates back to the 1930s. The station is located in the very heart of Florence. It is a terminal station that means every train has to turn around to get out of it again. The station is a major transportation hub and from Florence you can get to all the major cities of Italy. For my trip today I booked premium class in Train Italia. The trip to Rome will take about one and a half hours. You get the information about the platform the train is stopping just a few minutes before the train actually arrives. Here comes my train, the Freccia Rossa, or in English, the Red Arrow. And my Italian is not up to speed, so I apologize for any pronunciation mistakes I make. Now I just have to find the right train car and my seat. I will not miss that entrance. I was traveling directly after the Easter holidays and it seemed like all of Italy was on vacation. The premium class has reclining leather seats, individual electronic sockets and uh, complimentary onboard Wi-Fi. Train Italia offers four different classes on this train. The standard class, the premium class that I am sitting in, a business class and business class silence and an executive class. And for the people liking trains, I looked up some information about the Ferro Rossa. It can drive up to 300 km an hour. The trains operate of the standard European gauge of 1435 mm, which is 4 feet and 8.5 inches for people using the Imperial system. And the latest series of this train has a capacity of up to 400 passengers. That is as much technical information that, as I'm capable of giving you. And now let's enjoy a little bit of this train ride. Thank you. 
The ride is not that long, but the Italian landscape is magnificent. Included in the premium ticket is a sweet or salty snack and a single drink. The seating on the premium class was okay. The leg room even at the table was not that good if you had someone sitting opposite you and it felt very cramped, especially with the full train. We are approaching Rome and finally I have the chance to take a look at the rest of the train. A little bit shaky here. The train has a small bistro, which I didn't test because I was sitting on my seat and was not able to get out. The washroom here is accessible and looks quite clean for a train. This is the business class and as you can see, the seats have much more space. Welcome to Rome and the end of my journey. Overall, I think traveling by train in Italy is a good alternative. I was happy about the options I had to travel, the speed of the trains and the availability. And it's much more easy than flying domestic. And now it is time to start exploring Rome. Thanks for joining me on my trip today. And as always, I hope you have enjoyed this trip report. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, it would be a good time to do so now. And of course, you're welcome to leave a comment, like this video and hit the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you on my next travel report. Until then, remember, to travel is to live.